Hey folks, Chip Richter coming to you. I'm on the practice tee up here at the Country Club of Harrisburg. And uh, for this week's chip shots, I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh, this happens more frequently than not. It happens a lot. And I wanted to share it with you because I think it's something that you can probably do next time you're out practicing and help you a lot with your own game. Um, and really what it, it's kind of a club fitting thing in regard to the length of shaft of today's modern drivers, okay? When I was a kid, and I, I know I'm 51 now, so that was a while ago, but drivers were 43 and a half inches, okay? I had a wood head and a shaft of steel, etc. And now you're seeing drivers that some of them are coming out of the OEMs at, at, at 46 inches, okay? And I understand that the longer the radius of the swing, the better chance you have of picking up speed. And every now and then you're gonna hit that one just perfect and it's gonna go a really long way. But I also understand that scientifically we know that the further away you get from the center of the face, you lose a lot of ball speed. And if you're about a half inch off the center of the face, you can lose up to 8% of your ball speed real quick. And 8% is a lot. So had a student the other day, got the track man out doing the club fitting. Everything's going really good, but not everyone was just right. So I said, you know, can you just grip down a half an inch for me? It got a little better. I said, can you grip down a full inch for me? Now, Titleist driver is only about 45 inches coming out stock. Grip down a full inch and all of a sudden, boom. Now I want you to look at the face tape numbers here, okay? Now these are actual pictures of the face tape that I took with this student. This one is the one with a grip down and gripping down to 44 inches, okay? And now you're gonna see the picture of what we were when we were at full length. And you see the difference in dispersion all over the club face, okay? Most of the stuff that I read says the average PGA Tour driver length is about 44 and a half to 45 inches, okay? Some of you are out there swinging 46. Most of the tours at about 45 and a half. So they're actually a little shorter than what you have in your bag currently in all likelihood. So. You want to test and find out what's going on? Next time, go to your local pro shop, and I want you to ask them for a piece of face tape, okay? It's real simple. They'll have it in their fitting cart, okay? It's not hard to come by. Get a piece of face tape, apply it to the center of the club, just like this, and go out and hit some balls. And hit some balls with gripping down a half inch, hit some balls gripping down a full inch, hit some golf balls, maybe at full length, and see where you're dispersed. You're gonna notice a different dispersion. You're gonna notice that you hit it more in the center of the face and you might lose a mile or two an hour of club head speed, but if you pick up the center of the face and you pick up 8% more ball speed, you're way better off losing a mile an hour or two of club head speed and hitting the center of the face more often. You're gonna hit it further, you're gonna hit it straighter, it's gonna be less spinny, it's gonna have a lot of benefits. So, grab a piece of face tape, pop it on your driver, try different lengths, simply gripping down at different, uh, different amounts. If you take something off of this end of the shaft, all it does is make it shorter. You take something off this end of the shaft, you really change the playing characteristics of the shaft. All you're doing here is making it a little shorter. It's easy to do, it's a great experiment. I encourage you to try, get some face tape, try some shorter length shifts, see if it doesn't have you hit in the center of the club more often. Let me know how it works out for you. You know where to reach us, chiprichtergolf.com, teaching up at the Country Club of Harrisburg, Tuesday through Sunday. Talk to you next week, folks.